hey what's up guys welcome back again and this time we are going to deal with our models so we have created our models we have done some uh, migrations and all that stuff but we don't know what happened and how can we use them and how can we add data to our model so there are a lot of things we need to do so uh, let's uh, uh, start with something very uh, you know uh, what, oh, I'm telling you one thing which I don't use but let me tell you so that if you want to use you can use otherwise there is no need for using that so what I will do so let's access our database and for accessing that what we have to do we will say python manage dot py and shell so it will take us to the shell so this is our shell here we can do anything like we can write 3 plus 5 and it will give us the answer 8 and we can write 8 plus 9 and it is 17 okay so uh, let's uh, try to access our models here so I'll say from first app first app dot uh, models import student okay so let's say we so we have the student as far as I know and let's say uh, we have this student so we will I will say student is equal to student dot objects dot all okay so it should give me all the student objects in my students field and let's uh, spell it correctly uh, students okay let's press enter and now let's try to print those students so let's see I want to print these students oh and you can see query set is going to blank because we haven't added any student till now so we don't know so let's uh, try to do something so uh, what we can do here what we can do is we can insert any student uh, student here and then uh, we can you know perform that this operation again and then we will have uh, some kind of data so how we will do that so let's say where oh sorry let's say we have a student again and we say student and in the brackets let's say it has a name so I will write like like my name which is Pawan and it it, it has a school name which is uh, it, it has an age so let's say it is 18 and we don't know the school name so let's just try in you know in, in the ear <laughs> so it is like XYZ school so let's see what happens so that you will have a better understanding that what's happening and now let's say student dot save that I mean that please save this student oh and here we have a lot of issues so we have a lot of errors here that uh, this is not here of Lana Tikama Tikama so let's do one more thing um, and it is a value error that is invalid literal for int with base 10 for one I don't know what that means but uh, let's not talk about it let's do one thing let's uh, add our school first so let's say from first app dot uh, what it says uh, models import school as well so until unless that sh this season will work everything which you have imported will work so I, I have imported the student first now I am importing this school so both will work because uh, we haven't ended this session yet so let's clear once oh sorry we have to write it's not working okay cool I don't use this shell so that is why I also forget that how we used to do the clear operation but let's see we have uh, imported this student um, we have imported the school as well so let's say I want to access schools so I have this uh, school dot objects dot all and let's print the schools and it should be empty because we haven't added any schools either so it is empty like that and uh, this is uh, rubbish so we have to add any school so let's add a school is school 
and we will do the same thing here and let's a school should have a name so let's name it x v y z then we should have an address so let's say a b c d d d and it should have an email so let's say xyz at the rate gmail.com then it should have a phone number which is a positive integer field so let's say nine seven one zero zero uh one two three four five okay and let's end this and let's try to enter and now let's try to save it oh again so it is showing me some error let's uh what we can do we can specify the fields as well here so that we don't get this bullshit error so we can say name is equal to xyz xyz address is equal to uh, this and uh, we can say email is equal to uh, let's delete it here we can write email is equal to this and uh, we have phone number phone number is equal to this okay let's just press enter again we have this now and we will again try to save it this time it is saved just because this is happening because we have to uh, define all those stuff so let's print now this is cool and let's see what happened with it oh no we have to access the uh, objects first so let's write uh, this schools and now that let's print this school oh and here you can see that we have a school here so school xyz and now we can add a student as well so we will write uh, student then we will say student now we have to give the name of the student so name is equal to let's say Pavan. now age is equal to let's say 18 and school is another field so school let's uh, select this to xyz which we entered last time now press enter again must be a school instance so student dot school must be a school instance what does that mean so we have to pass the uh, school here so let's write our school which we made earlier okay so now it should take it yeah now let's say student dot save and it saved that now let's say we have this student oh and let's access all the students student dot object start all this we will use to access all the students so we have now students now let's try to print those students and there is we have this student as pawan and this is so pathetic i am just tired by writing all those stuff and still i am not able to see a proper way in a proper way i i am very you know i'm very tired by writing this much of code and that is why i had i hate this shell and i don't want to write this much command to just create one uh, person like myself and uh, if i have to enter you know 30 or 50 or 100 of fields then it will be really 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 a panic situation for me so what i can do so there uh, comes something into the picture for which we added this line into the admin which is admin.site.register so we never used this till now because we haven't access to this admin panel till now so how can we access that so let's uh let's exit it from here because i can't use it if you want then you can follow our tutorial for this shell and uh, you can read the documentation about this shell and you can read all the commands whatever it's needed to write here but i don't personally use it and i don't find it you know uh good for me because it is 
very 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 time consuming and it, it is not giving me any uh, you know value addition so let's exit it and now we are again back to our terminal main terminal and now let's run the server and you must be wondering why i'm running the server again and again for no reason i uh, we were about to you know write those uh, database entries and we were want, we wanted to access those database in a in a better way maybe so we have to you know run the server for that and let's go to uh, so we have i have just activated my jet prince account so let's go to admin rather than this and let's see what happens so here we have our django administration page and it is asking for username and password let's try something let's write admin and here let's write one two three four and let's log in and it is saying that please enter the correct username and password and that is happening because we haven't created any account for us till now but after this video we will create this and we will access this beautiful admin panel and that is the best thing about django any other framework any other framework will not provide you this and this is the best thing about django this is the beauty of django which you are gonna see in the next video so please 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 subscribe this button for this uh for this django admin panel subscribe my channel and you have to like this video because if you will give me 20 or 30 or 40 likes maybe then only it will be you know uh, it will be good for this django admin panel demonstration otherwise you don't love this django admin panel so okay you can watch next video then you can like this okay that's sufficient so i'll see you in the next video thank you so much